This video will cover an introduction to the seventh edition of APA Citation Style. In-text citations. In-text citations are found in the body of your paper. Anytime you include information that is not your own, you need to include an in-text citation. APA in-text citations include the author's last name, followed by a comma, then the year of publication. There are two ways to use in-text citations. The first is to put the citation at the end of the sentence, where the whole citation is in parentheses. In this case, you'll write a statement that includes information from a source. That means information that is not your own. Then, you include your in-text citation. This is an open parenthesis, the author's last name, a comma, the year of publication, you close the parenthesis, then you put a period to end the sentence. Note that the period is after the citation, so the citation is considered to be part of the sentence. The second way to write your in-text citation is to include it within your sentence instead of at the end. In this case, you would include the author's name within the sentence, directly followed by the year of publication in parentheses. The author date template for in-text citations is used when you are paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means you are writing in your own words without directly quoting the material. If you directly quote the material using the source's exact words and quotations, you will also need to include the page number in your citation by listing P period and the page number. If you mention the author's name in the sentence followed by the year, the page number will still be at the end of the sentence. There are also a number of rules for how to list authors depending on the amount of authors. If the material you are citing has two authors, you need to include both authors' last names. Use an ampersand when the citation is at the end of the sentence, and use the word end when the author's names are written in the sentence. If the material you are citing has three or more authors, list only the first author's name followed by et al, period, comma, and then the year of publication. Et al is a Latin phrase that means end others, and it replaces the other author's names. Pay attention to where the period and comma go for this. Use et al every time you cite a source with three or more authors, even in the first in-text citation. If the material you are citing has no author, you might use the organization as the author. For example, your resource might be written by a government agency. Depending on the resource, you could also use the material title in place of the author. Also, if the material you are citing has no date, such as some web pages, use the abbreviation n period d period for no date in place of the year. Please note that your in-text citations must correspond to a citation in your reference list at the end of your paper. The in-text citations provide a small amount of information about the resource, but the reference list is where the full citations are listed and those contain more details. The author that is listed in your in-text citation must be the first item that appears in your full citation in the reference list. Reference list. The reference list is found at the end of your paper. The references listed on this page provide detailed information for each source used in your paper. While your in-text citation contains the author, date, and sometimes a page number, the citations in your reference list contain much more information. Anyone reading your paper should be able to easily find the resources you consulted by looking at the citations in your reference list. Each source that is cited as an in-text citation must appear in your reference list, and each source cited in the reference list must appear as an in-text citation in your paper. We'll cover some common types of sources you may need to cite in your papers, including journal articles, magazine and newspaper articles, and web pages. First, let's identify where you will find the information needed for your citations. You'll need the title of the article and the authors. Other information you need is typically at the top or bottom of the article. You'll see the journal title. This is the name of the journal where the article is published. You'll see the year of publication and the volume and issue numbers. These show exactly when the article was published. The volume always comes before the issue number and sometimes there is no issue number. You'll also need to include the page numbers and the DOI if your article has one. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and it's a unique identifier specific to each article. These details are needed in your reference list citations so the reader of your paper can locate the exact resource you used. Journal article citations follow this format, author last name, comma, first and middle name initials. If there are multiple authors, also include their names in the same format. After the author is the year of publication in parentheses, period. Then comes the title of the article in sentence case, 
the title of the journal, italicized in title case, comma, the volume number, still in italics, then in parentheses and non-italics is the issue number, comma, and the page range, period. If the article has a DOI, it should be listed as a hyperlink that begins with HTTPS, colon, and two forward slashes. It is okay to use either the default settings for hyperlinks in your word processor, which are usually blue and underlined, or plain text that is not underlined. If the article has no DOI and is published in a database, don't include a URL or any database information. There are a few exceptions to this, such as when articles are only accessible in one particular database. If the resource is only available in one specific database, then include the database name in italics and the date you accessed it and a URL. If the article has no DOI and is published on a website, include the URL. Like journal articles, citation information for magazine articles might be found at the top or the bottom of the page. Magazine articles follow a similar format, including the author, date, article title, magazine title, volume, issue, and page numbers. If a magazine article has a DOI, include the DOI in the reference. If the magazine article does not have a DOI and is from a library database, end the reference after the page range and don't include database information in the reference. If the magazine article does not have a DOI but does have a URL because it's from an online magazine that is not part of a database, include the URL of the article as a hyperlink at the end of the reference. If the magazine article does not have volume, issue, or page numbers, leave out the missing elements from the reference. Newspaper articles also follow a similar format. If the newspaper article is from an online newspaper that has a URL, include the URL at the end of the reference. Again, if the volume, issue, or page numbers for the article are missing, omit these elements from the reference. If the newspaper article is from a library database, provide the title of the newspaper and any volume, issue, and page numbers that are available for the article. Don't include database information in the reference. If the article does not have volume, issue, or page numbers, the reference may end with the title of the newspaper. You may also find articles on news websites which are not associated with daily or weekly newspapers. List the writer as the author, the date the story was published, the title of the news story italicized in sentence case, the name of the news website, and end the reference with the URL. Other web pages you might cite include government websites. If there is no individual author, use the agency responsible for the web page as the author. Provide a date for the web page if possible. You should look for a date that pertains to the specific content you are citing rather than the website as a whole. If there is no date listed, use the abbreviation N period D period for no date. Then italicize the title of the web page and end the reference with the URL. Follow a similar format when citing a non-government website where the organization is the author. In this case, you don't need to include the site name after the title of the web page in order to avoid repetition. Lastly, if you are citing a web page that has an individual author, list that person as the author. Then follow the same format, including the date, the italicized title of the web page, the website name, and the hyperlinked URL. Remember that the name or phrase that is listed at the beginning of each reference list citation must correspond to what is listed in your in-text citations. This is the case regardless of whether the author is an individual person or an organization. For more examples of how to cite other types of resources in APA format, you might refer to the APA style website.